Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. My name is Maria. I'm your Sherpa for this guide. If you're new here, welcome. There's gonna be a message here for you if you found me. I'm gonna do uh, two oracle readings. This is for Virgo, Virgo for the week of April 21st through the 27th. What's happening for Virgo? Virgo. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, you're gonna be, oh my goodness. You are dealing with some stuff already. Hmm, okay, creeping. Ooh, okay, you might wanna, you, wanna, you might wanna check Libra <laughs> and Aquarius, I think. Maybe even Pisces, I had to do two readings for them. Um, you're, you're struggling here. Or Scorpio, I suppose, okay. Mm -mm -mm. So right out of the bat, somebody's ignoring a commitment um, or they're feeling ignored and they're trying to offer a commitment. That might be a possibility. Bottom of the deck is withdrawn. And so you have creeping and withdrawn your overall uh, energy for the week. So somebody wants a commitment and maybe somebody else is ignoring it. Um, maybe they're ignoring the signs that this person wants a commitment or maybe you're ignoring it. Um, the commitment is marriage, uh, promises, fidelity, <clears throat> and I just don't know if you're buying it or you're even engaging it. Um, somebody's holding a grudge and they feel like this relationship is hopeless. Uh, they're sinking, they're falling apart and feeling full of despair. Uh, somebody's sitting in silence, frozen, no words, stone wall, and somebody's broke ass. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm feeling in a second. Dodge in bullets and stress. Um, again, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by... Haters, protected by haters, that's interesting. And stress is turbulence, tension, and arguments right here. Mm -hmm -hmm. And lastly is I have threatening, intimidated, threatened, and bothered, and uh, fantasy, and this is my only reversal, which is odd, because this is an upright deck, daydreaming, imagining, and fantasizing. So somebody is out of the illusion. They're coming out of an illusion, um, and they're not... Bo they're bothered by it, but they're, um, that's kind of what's pulling them out of this illusion. So it's going to be stressful. So, um, the energy, a couple of things I'm getting right here. Uh, take it as it resonates. If this isn't your reading, that's okay. And again, <clears throat> Virgo, I just got to be straight with you. It's like, uh, this is past energy and you're dealing with, it seems like somebody here, I'm going to clarify. I already, I already need to. Clark, tell me more about ignoring and commitment before I say anything. Tell me about ignoring and commitment. The lover's in reverse. Yeah, breakup. Judgment is in is in play. Oh, ten cups reversed. I'm telling you. It's the king of pentacles. This is the vibe I was getting. So I'm feeling good about it. I have an ace of swords in reverse. That's fine. It's also lying and deceit and the ace of cups in reverse being um depressed uh i feel like this king of pentacles somebody comes off stoic and stable and trying to be the savior to everybody this is husband material like this person was in an engagement right and i don't know why i said engagement and not relationship or situation ship i feel like this is a past relationship and this king of pentacles um is just recognizing that the i want to say you virgo have moved on and you might be in a new commitment. I want to say maybe even engaged or it looks like that and they are unhappy, very, very unhappy about that you are um, moving forward. And I feel like uh, you are, I feel like they're trying to ignore the fact that you're moving on. So the breakup occurred between you, I believe in your ex and you're moving forward and you're in a new commitment. Many of you engaged, many of you with an, a wedding announcement, like it's moving very, very fast. And Virgo, I feel like this ex of yours is really struggling, really struggling to find um, balance. I feel like they felt you were gonna come back. They felt uh, you were gonna, you are gonna keep a space for them forever. They feel hopeless, they're holding a grudge. Um, they're sitting in silence and, and no words, frozen and broke ass, meaning, um, they're they're acting out i want to say i'm going to clarify this as well um but they're acting out i feel and um possibly gambling several of them um spending a lot traveling trying to take away some of this pain whatever they're doing it's making a broke dodging bullets and stress 
Um, I think people are um, questioning them. I thought you told me that this person uh, was never gonna move on. This person was going to pine after you forever. Like, that's what they told people. That's the vibe I'm getting. Tell me about grudge holder and hopeless. Tell me about grudge holder and hopeless for Virgo. Grudge holder and hopeless for Virgo. Grudge holder, yep, and hopeless, thank you. So, grudge holder and hopeless. Mm. I got the King of Swords, <clears throat> the Fool, and the Death in Reverse. So this King of Pentacles, also the King of Swords, is trying to come up with a strategic plan um, to come back in and, and come in and change your mind. They're in competition with your current boo. You don't even know it. They're sitting in silence and they're broke. And I feel like they think this is about money, maybe. I'm gonna see if that's the truth. Tell me about broke ass and silence. And Virgo, I think that this is somebody who has a strategy to come in. Yeah, seven of swords are lying about their worth and their income and about a new job. Um, they're showing, they're thinking this is about prosperity and power. That's what this is. And they're thinking you walked away because of money. And so they're lying. They're showing evidence on their Instagram, I wanna say, about all their new, like, come up, their money, their, and this person's not being honest. Yeah, I have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's pride, it's pride of riches. Like, I, I, I can't make this up. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going through this train, this change where I'm feeling it, and then I'm pulling the cards that validate it, which I'm not mad about at all. Um, yeah, this person <clears throat> is in significant debt. Your ex, insolent from success, selfish, unfair, um, they're trying to rebuild, you know, I get they're trying to be perseverant. They want to work hard, right? They see you, I think, um, Virgo is this queen of pentacles, a savior. And they're, kind, they're trying to come off, or maybe they did previously when you're in this relationship, as this king of pentacles. They could buy anything, do anything, provide, etc. cetera. And um, it didn't work out with you and you left. And I feel like this person wants to come back. Um, have an honest conversation with you, but they are kind of showy. They're saying that they, I think they're showing something they don't have, which is value of money and stability. And uh, they know that you're the queen of pentacles and they feel like you're like, I heard lucky charm. You're like their lucky charm. So without you, they are struggling. Um, I'm defining the same, so I'm going on. And I have a uh, knight of pentacles in reverse. So it's lack of courage, this person's scared. So they see you getting married. I wanna see married. And they're conflicted with coming in and offering you the same level of commitment. Yeah, that's a level. And make even though you make them happy, it's a sun card. You're the happiest ever. They, you make them happy. But whatever. And I don't know, again, reading for a few Virgos, regardless if you're getting married, they see that this is the potential to go all the way. And they're like, I wasn't willing to commit to that level. So I'm not sure what I would say if I would come in. Am I willing to change anything? And they're dodging bullets. They're dodging bullets. They're being told that's the Seven of Swords and their dishonesty was, hey, wait a minute, I thought you were, yeah. They're getting called out by family and friends. It's creating frustration, anxiousness, obstacles, delays, disaster. So now they have an ego tied because they, they left because they, I don't know. I feel like either, I don't know why it ended. I'm, several of you that left, they left you and they told people, they were leaving for greener pastures, right? And now you're happy and you're on, you're showing the world that you're happy and you're showing your new success and your come up and they're retaliating by posting brand, look at my brand new car. It's not, <laughs> or my brand new job and I'm traveling. I get traveling. Don't know why, I don't see what's happening here. Um, threatening, intimidating. Tell me about this threatening and bothered. They may feel threatened or intimidated by what you're posting. Like you're sharing their secrets. Yeah, I got a page of pentacles. I got a page of cups. I got the three of cups in reverse and I got the two of pentacles in reverse. So uh, they're wearing a false mask. They are, Virgo. Somebody's forcing themselves to remain in a situation. Um, you're, this person, maybe you, you're forced, maybe this is you, you're working on your hard on your goals opportunity, eager, you're working hard, um, you're, 
you're kind of passionate about your job, but this, this page of cups is don't let your emotions get in the way. So this page of cups is kind of like, um, it's interrupted throughout the day with memories of you and they can't work. They can't give their, they think about you being sweet. I heard this is so sweet and gentle. Um, and they're reflecting on it and it's bothering them and it's in, in interrupting their work day as well. Um, they're coming out of a fantasy. They've kind of given up on the idea of uh, making this work with you. Um, they are being forced to be in this relationship with a fake smile. If they're in another relationship, they are forced to be. If you know they're not happy to watch you glow up and they're not real thrilled that they have to put on this false smile. And right behind that, I have, um, they've been acting out. It was that same thing about being broke ass is um, they're overabundant, excessive pleasure, right? Lots and lots of prestige. So they're buying shit they can't afford to impress people they don't care about anymore is what's going on. And they're threatened. I feel like their ego is threatened or bothered. There's a gun on the, po on the picture, but it, it's not pointed at anybody. It's just like the level of intense, their ego is being threatened. Tell me more about Virgo. Tell me more about Virgo. Yeah, three of, three of uh, pentacles. It's kind of like, so some, the, it's, yeah, it's a commitment. It's a, it's an agreement and they see you, but it's also a realization. It was like once they saw your photos or once they saw you being happy, they had a realization that they missed, they made the wrong choice. They made, they missed the boat. They missed the boat. Piggybacked by the nine of swords is the anxiety is I can't go back. I can't go back and make it right. And I don't know why they can't. Maybe it's because they're broke and they spent all their money on stupid stuff. I don't know, things that don't matter. And it's full of anxiety. Two of swords making a decision to come forward. They're stalled. They're stuck. They can't move. Strength. Tell me about Virgo. What's happening for Virgo? Not the person that Virgo is attached to. Okay. You are going through a, a temperance. That is the theme of the week. The six of swords and the ten of wands. You're releasing all burdens. You are taking care of you. You're taking yourself to a better place. You're mentally and spiritually finding balance. You, if you haven't yet, and you've been losing sleep over this, I hear take a hot bath, drink some tea, lemon, ginger, that sort of thing. Just relax. Peppermint, maybe. Um, and I'm not a tea drinker, so I think this might be helpful. <laughs> I am a tea drinker, but not like like bougie like that. I I like tea. Um, this is like, there's always another way of doing something. So the vibe I get is anything that you invested in this person and this King of Pentacles to see your value and worth is I'm investing it in myself right now. I'm going to, I'm going to take a different route. I didn't get what I needed out of this relationship. So I'm going to provide it. It's like, oh, my Uber Eats didn't show up. So I'm going to just go make mac and cheese. So that's the same vibe. And I mean, that's exactly the same vibe. So no skin off my nose. I'm just going to do it this way. You are thriving, Virgo. And your post, like I said, you are solid. You are doing fine. Anything else you want me to share with Virgo? Nine of Cups in the reverse. They're unhappy as heck. Um, and the more you shine, the more you elevate, the less happy they are. They're stuck in a space of greed. It is greed. And so when I see greed, greed is like a black hole. It can never be filled. Never. They think, oh, this thing will make me happy. And then they get this thing. Or this relationship will make me happy. Or moving here. Or this. And the tickets... Uh, the price on the things that make them happy keeps elevating. So, um, for example, if that new pair of shoes at $300 would make them happy two weeks later, well, I'm not really happy with this. I need that $1,500 item. And then I need that three, $4,000 item. Now we're up to the $20,000 item. And you're like, holy crap. So if you were dealing with a Virgo or a Virgo, you were dealing with somebody like this, please let me know that this was even close but this is the vibe I get is you I get the sense that you've done some work and you're just kind of doing you you're ignoring all this stupid stuff even especially the comments especially if somebody's leaving you negative comments it's actually fueling you to move faster look at that this is spot on this is the energy I'm feeling so somebody's gonna come in knight of swords with the knight of cups somebody I feel is going to race in look at that look at the energy out those two cards Somebody's gonna race in on the horse and as they're stopping, like they're going to be talking to you while they're jumping off this horse. They are in motion on their way to your house while they're texting you at the same time, right? Or waiting for you to pick up the phone. They're already in the middle of leaving you a message and you 
catch half of it, you know? Virgo, this person's this person's in a pinch, um, distraught to say the least. And your unbotheredness bothers them. Yeah, I have the last three cards out for this reading is the King of Wands with the Empress and the Four of Cups. They, the King of Wands wants to come back and capture the relationship they didn't value. The irony here is now that you value yourself, you may not entertain this conversation because you provided that mac and cheese when you were hungry. If somebody came to your house three hours later with the Uber Eats going, yeah, I'm good, thank you, take it back. That's kind of the vibe I get. You have to discern, maybe you're hungry, you wanna save her for lunch tomorrow. Same kind of concept. You have to discern if this is something you wanna invest in. Actually, I'm gonna go here. Lastly, Virgo, I'm gonna leave you with a, an angel number for the week. Take it as you wish, your angel number. Zero, 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 look at that. I am so proud of you guys. I am the creator. I am the creator. And we had the full card. That was one of your first cards out right there. Boom, boom. Walking into a new chapter. Yes, you are. You are one with your creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. I am the creator. Beautiful reading. Okay, before you leave, real quick, hit that sub subscribe button if you at least found this entertaining, educational, purposeful in any way, shape, or form. Helps me broaden my footprint. Cost you nothing. Hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Consider um, leaving me a comment that's positive, which is great because other people read it and it sends the positive vibration farther. And if you need me, email me if you want more deets at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com and we'll schedule a personal reading. If you want a videotaped recorded message, you can do that as well. I videotape them and I email you a link privately and you can feel free to watch it at your leisure if that's an alternative because we're all stupid busy anymore. So love and light until the midweek pulse and take care.